Hi, my name's Marie and I'm the Deputy Manager of the Small Animal Department at Wood Green Animal Shelters and I'm going to tell you how to care for gerbils. I'm going to tell you how to set up a gerbil cage. First of all, always home your gerbils in a large glass tank. Ideally, this should be around four to, three to four feet in length and with a secure mesh lid on the top. Gerbils naturally burrow and live underground. They'll often come to the top to forage for thieves. So it's a really good idea if you can try and mimic this and that way you'll have healthy and happy gerbils. So we've got here a three foot large glass tank and we've started filling it with peat. You don't need to add in different materials because often once this is compacted down they are able to create really fun um, and deep burrows underneath. The best material is, is uh, pure organic soil. Make sure this has got no fertilisers or chemicals in there. Obviously these could harm your gerbils. You can get these from most garden centres. So just pop these into the tank. just move this all around. Ideally you want to fill the tank up around halfway and just pat it down and this way the gerbils can really create lots of tunnels there and it's nice and deep and again this will mimic what they would have in the wild. So then you want to be able to add them suitable bedding for them to take down underground and make a nest. The best for this is good quality hay. This should be really nice and green, it should smell really sweet and fresh and that way you know it's going to be good quality. So to put a nice handful of that into there, you can just pop it in a corner and they'll move it all around. Then you'll want to add a little bit more enrichment. Although they're going to be burrowing, they'll also be in the wild coming up against different objects as well. So we want to create this. So we've got a few toilet rolls. What you can do is either just bury them completely underground or just stick them in different angles. And then we can also give them some natural treats as well, such as uh, fruit tree twigs or willow twigs as well. So you can just place them in the ground and they're brilliant for their teeth to chew on. You'll then need to provide some food. Don't ever feed your gerbils in a bowl. It's best to scatter feed and again, this will encourage natural behaviour. It'll keep them active and it'll keep them healthy. There are many different types of gerbil mixes on the market, but always try and bulk this up, so add in different things as well. So you just want a small handful of this and just scatter it around in the cage. You can then purchase different products such as dried herbs, dried different plants and wild plants, and you can even add a small amount of good quality dry mix as well, and that'll ensure they're getting um, plenty of protein in their diet. So just scatter these around. You could even just pop them into the, into the toilet rolls and that way they've got to chew the toilet rolls up and find them. So, we then want to add the gerbils in. When you are cleaning out your gerbils, it's a good idea if you can purchase a small pet carrier for them. It's going to keep them secure and comfortable whilst you're doing the cleaning out. Do make sure that you place some of their bedding into the accommodation and that way they're going to feel far more comfortable um, and familiar smells as well. So we're just going to add in a couple of their old toys that they had in here. This was a toilet roll which they've already chewed. Gerbils should always be pet kept in groups, pairs um, of the same sex. They are naturally um, live in small groups, so if you can mimic this, and they'll be far happier kept in small pairs of groups as well. Obviously, be responsible. Please don't breed from them. There are many gerbils in rescue shelters as well. Lastly, we want to add on the secure lid. There are all sorts of gerbil ones, so it is better if you can find one that really fits on tight or possibly with clasps. And then for their water, you'll want to get a water bottle with a hanging top and this way it can be hung from the mesh and hung in there that way. Make sure you're refreshing the water every day and are providing fresh food each day as well. And that's how to set up a gerbil cage. <laughs>